Well, this month, the Fort Worth man took a plea deal for a murder he committed four years ago. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. However, court documents obtained by Fox 4 show that while he was out on bond, he managed to escape to Mexico, and police have reason to believe he committed a second murder while he was there. Jesus Rios was brought back to North Texas after he tried to re-enter the country with a fake ID. He'll now serve a 15-year sentence for the 2020 murder on the plea deal. On the same day, though, he was arrested. A key witness in that 2020 case was found dead. Fox 4's David Centenary spoke with family members of the two murder victims. The sentencing isn't right at all, neither for her dad or my mom. Two women. We want him to be held accountable for everything that he did. Meeting for the first time. I hate him. Because of one man. He's ruined so much. In 2020, Jesus Rios shot and killed a man he didn't even know, Fernando Mendoza Jr., who gestured at Rios for speeding in a Fort Worth neighborhood off Roosevelt Avenue. Angel Mendoza is Mendoza's oldest child. I was daddy's girl. I was his only girl. On September 18th, Rios accepted a plea deal with the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office. 15 years in prison. 15 years doesn't begin to pay for a murder. Abby Guerra is the daughter of Myra Guerra, who was a passenger in Rios's vehicle when Rios killed Mendoza. Guerra cooperated with police. Her statements added to ballistics and DNA evidence, according to police. Rios was charged with murder, but in September of 2023, while out on bond, court documents show he tampered with his ankle monitor and fled to Mexico. Police believe he took Guerra with him. Later that month, according to a medical examiner's report in the state of Chihuahua, Guerra was found on the side of a road, shoelaces around her neck. Her cause of death is fixation. My mom meant a lot to my family. <laughs> on the same day Guerra was pronounced dead, Rios was arrested by federal law enforcement while crossing back over the U.S. border with a fake ID. Fort Worth Police Department says it proved by a preponderance of the evidence that Rios caused Guerra's death for the purpose of preventing her from testifying. Evidence which could have also been introduced at trial. It's also waiting on additional DNA evidence, specifically blood on Rios's clothing that might be Guerra's. Both victims' families believe prosecutors rushed the 15-year plea deal. They rushed to do the sentencing without waiting for my, the DNA that was done. We even talked about trial and he just said no evidence, no evidence, no evidence. I didn't know how her mother had died. I didn't know about the blood on the clothing. I feel lied to. I feel misled. Rios could not have been charged in the U.S. for Guerra's alleged murder in Mexico, but that evidence could have played a role in getting a conviction in Mendoza's case. His kids were so much to him, meant so much to him. I try to stay strong for my brothers. Now, while Rios serves his 15-year sentence for Mendoza's murder... Living day by day, really. Myra Guerra's family hopes that he'll eventually be extradited to Mexico and held accountable for her alleged murder. It's just a waiting game from here. David Centendry, Fox 4 News. Now, the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office would not talk with us on camera, but in a statement offered to us, they said in every case, they evaluate the strengths and the weaknesses of its evidence and make a decision on going to trial or offering a plea deal.